a, a basketball coach for a dad. So I grew up in a gym and um, you know I watched him very closely uh, you know over the years and he helped me get me to the point where I'm at right now. Uh, Brian Bury, the successful head coach at the College of St. Rose uh, in Albany, um, gave me an opportunity in this business uh, to be his assistant right from the get-go. My first job out of college and uh, I owe a lot to him. And then uh, our older gentleman on our staff right now, Don Bassett, who used to be George Carl's assistant with the Albany Patrol and a very successful high school coach in the area and also was an assistant at the College of St. Rose for a while. Um, he's very close to our program and I learned something every day from him. And I played for Frankie Allen at Howard University and Frankie is somebody, Coach Allen, somebody that I call on all the time. Um, and I played for some really good coaches overseas. My high school coaches and mentors have really been good to me. So I call, I call on these people all the time and, and they're really helping me shape who I am and, and my philosophy and, and just things that I'm really trying to do. I tell you, um, I've been very fortunate. I've worked for a lot of different people, but I'm one of nine brothers and sisters, so I'm, <laughs> I got to go with my father first. And then, uh, you know, he was, you have to be a leader when you have nine kids. And, you know, I really think my father, um, you know, started me along the path of being a coach. He was a baseball coach and football coach and basketball coach and educator. Um, and then, you know, I was fortunate enough to play for some great high school coaches um, who I stay in touch with today. And then I played for a Hall of Fame coach at UConn and, and Jim Calhoun. And the job he did at that state university um, is, you know, really, really amazing. Three national championships and um, countless uh, Big East championships. So I'm fortunate, you know, to play under him and then get a chance to coach under him in a long same path, you know, on that staff was Howie Dickerman, who's longtime coach at Central Connecticut, and Glenn Miller, who was a longtime coach at Brown and Penn, and um, you know, I got a chance to learn from them. Dave Lado, who's now an assistant coach at Missouri, um, just some really, really great, um, you know, guys to learn from and be, be mentored by. I came from a very big, you know, big sports family, and and we were around. I was around it my whole life, and and I was a in a community where we had a lot of success in, in Dunmore, Pennsylvania, where every team was good. You know, our baseball team was always good, our basketball team was good, our football team was always good. So I just grew up in a culture of, a lot of times it was the older kids, you know, that were always experienced winning. And I was just fortunate to, to look up to some, to some players in different sports that were winners, some coaches in the community that were winners, um, family members that had a lot of success on the football field, on the baseball diamond, on the basketball court. So I, I just, it, it was just in me at a young age, and then when I got to college, um, you know, I had a I had a great college coach, Frank Marcinic at Susquehanna University, who was who was driven, who was a winner, who was tough. Uh, and then, you know, moving on in, in the Division One ranks, uh, probably Don Harnum, who's the athletic director at Ryder University now, was the head coach at Ryder when I took a, when I took a, a spot as an assistant on his staff and. You know, another guy who was fiery, who was competitive, who experienced winnings. Yeah, I, I was kind of a wayward college guy. I went to Merrimack College, and um, my senior year, Bert Hamill, who is still the head coach at Merrimack, was an assistant with Frank Monahan, left to go to the Milwaukee Bucks for a year as a scout, then came back my senior year. And, and this is now like, you know, I don't want to date myself. Yeah, it's a couple years ago. ago. It's about 30 something years ago. <laughs> um, but Bert was a hard, tough, uh, demanding coach and I was so glad that I went through one year of that from a discipline standpoint because I knew I wanted to get into coaching and playing him for him for one year I think from you know the toughness and the discipline and the work ethic I think really kind of molded me uh, with my work ethic as a coach then I was fortunate to work for Mike Jarvis for six years as an assistant and what Mike taught me was unbelievable leadership and organizational skills and I think, you know, when you look at those two guys, they've had a big influence on me. When you say you were